In this video, I'm going to show you how to install VMware Workstation Pro 17, completely free from Broadcom. Uh, Broadcom bought over VMware, and right now they are offering the Workstation Pro software 100% free if you're using it for personal use. And however, there's been a problem with just accessing that interface and downloading it. It's just really, really a poor user experience. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to get the software. Let's begin by going onto the Broadcom website. And when you get on this side, uh, you want to hit on um, support portal and you want to register. You have to create an account. If you already registered, that is fine. And when you get here, you have to give the uh, email address of your company or your email address, your IT print. I'm going to type in this capture and we're going to hit next. And they're going to send in a, for, uh, some codes to your phone in order to, or your email to verify if you own the account. I received the code and I'll put in the code. Now hit verify. I know my first name. Okay. My last name is High Priest. In my country, it's the United States. Correct. Architect, password. We accept the term of service. I will hit create account. So our account has been created. And uh, I'll do this later, I'll be my profile later. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to Broadcom right now. Login. My username. My username is my email. And my password. That locks me in to Broadcom. Now, this is how you download VMware Workstation. It's uh, very easy. You come over here, I'm gonna hit close. You come over here, this drop down menu right here, click here, and you will see VMware Cloud Foundation. Click on VMware Cloud Foundation, it brings you to this page. Okay, when it brings you to this page, we know that we want to download VMware Workstation. So I will go here on to search on for the product. I'll click here, all products. And I would scroll down and I'll go to around page five. The last page has VMware Workstation. And here you can see VMware Workstation Professional. I'll hit product details. Now, instead of giving you enough information about the product, I would expect them to show you how to download it to give you the software right here. So they instead talk about a CVE, a vulnerability. So I'm going to click on this link about a CVE. So we get to this page that tells us about uh, vulnerabilities and software and the patches that's been made for it. Uh, as you read down this CVE report, you can look down here around number four, which talks about references and look at the very first link. I'm going to put this link on the description of this video. All you have to do is click on this link. The very first link is the direct link to go and do the download. And I click on that and it will bring you to this page and it's loading, be patient. And when it gets here, you see VMware Workstation Pro 17. This is what you're looking for. However, since we are using the free for personal use, remember to choose a second one, VMware Workstation Pro 17.0 for personal use windows. Click on that and it brings you here. You can see this is 17.6. I will click on that. Then it takes us to another page. Here I will go ahead and accept 
I agree to the terms and condition. I agree. Then I come here. This is the download button. It's going to require some screening. I will go ahead and click on this download button. And it says prior to downloading these files, additional verification is required. Proceed. I say yes. And it will bring me to this page where it shows information about me. But all it wants here is my address. So I'll put my address. I will say uh, 850. Texas. And I put in my zip code. Now, this is not my real address, so don't worry about mailing me. I'm going to submit. And that's essentially it. Once this goes through that phase, the next thing we'll have to do is just to click on the download link and we start downloading. So here we are. This is the MD5 for hash. I'm going to click on download one more time. And look at it, this is it downloading. This is what we've looked for all along. For some reason, uh, VMware made it so complex. I'm not sure why. So let's download this software and then install our hypervisor. My download is now complete and I will proceed to install. I'll just click there. This is it in my download directory. I will double click on the VMware Workstation Pro. Accept the terms. Next. Next, 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 install. And that will give us a copy of VMware Workstation Professional. And uh, that is the installation of uh, VMware Workstation Pro. I don't have to put in a license. I'll just click finish. And uh, I'm going to click on start. Uh, VMware. Launch the application. And here we are. It's up and running. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Or at least like this video. If you don't, I'm going to ask you for an offering. Remember, I'm a priest. Thank you.